Uh, let's get rid of the Thirsty Dame. And the Rod Tusser. I'd like to use those later. A syndicate guy. Okay, maybe one Thirsty Dame. We can start with Philippe. Let us put an end to this nonsense. Okay. Why can't you? Yeah, yeah well, we already read that. Bruce Ritual, Operator, can't hear. Yeah, yeah. Operator? We have so many options here to mess, mess them up. Um. Do we protect it? How much do I care about losing guys? He can kill it. Uh, we can purify. We can purify the the bounty. And we have nothing to hit. Okay, that's fine. I, I don't want to commit too hard, but I guess purifying the bounty is fine. Jotun and cave throw, long front on free. Oh yeah, cave throw. We can play a uh, Fion. Should we lock this? If we lock this, actually, we could have killed it. If we lock it, then hit it. So, a bit of a misplay there. Still, I think we're gonna lock it. He's gonna play a... Uh, an archer. He already used up quite a few logs. I mean, uh, bounties. We can win round one by playing... I don't know. Maybe not win round one, but... The tank guy. Obviously, which hunter executioner gets played, kills my guy, gets five gold. Now he can bleed me, but let's just uh, lock it. Range lock. I don't want to commit too hard. You're the counter boost decks. I don't think you would even need that. If if we manage to block so many, if we if we block like six, uh, six slots on the on the on the board, I think that even could be like uh, good enough. Okay. We can do a poison. He has a lot of gold. Okay, let's pass. We technically went first. And he's at 16 points. He already has extra gold. And has a guy marked for 2 gold. So he's technically at like 18 points. It just doesn't look that way. So let's pass. Northern Realm with Priscilla and Chan is insane. Uh, yeah, I actually built a deck uh, that's like uh, Northern Realm value generation. It, it was weird. It was it was weak to uh, poison and locks a little bit, but it, uh, yeah, it, it is ridiculous. When it comes to points, nothing is on par with Northern Realms. If they are not shut down, uh, Kahir. You gotta watch out for Kahir. I don't know why he's not more popular, but like Kahir can can totally shut you down. Not shut you down, he's just gonna stay behind the taunt. I've won so many times against no rounds with this combo. Fion, Kahir, 
do your thing, Doram. But come on. What would be your uh, answer to that? But I'm a big Noram lover, for sure. I guess we can uh, find some upgrades here. Uh, most of our units are r range based. So we're probably gonna play the Magni in the front. Oh, really? That doesn't have a status. Huh. I can poison it. But even that is not amazing. That's melee based. Okay, that's a shutdown effect. We can poison that guy to kill it later. Actually, we can play Kahir and benefit from the, the boost. We're probably, gonna, probably not going to get a lot of value from Kahir in this matchup. So, he's just fine there. And we will work on killing Kahir. He's going to go to 7. At the end of every ally turn, uh, maybe he's not gonna stay on for long. Okay, so probably playing Savola. Motahari can get out the Masquerade Ball. Oh no, he's doing more else? That's gotta be a pricey one. Uh, we can get Morale out, we can get Joachim, we can get Masquerade Ball. Maybe we should just pull it Masquerade Ball first. Uh, actually, it's a little bit tricky now because we should win in two cards. So if I, I waste too much time, it's actually gonna cost us three cards to win. If I just play a uh, Thirsty Dame, it's not gonna be good enough. It's it's a bit too slow. Although playing Roderick can get punished. Okay, that's what we want. We want the morale. Death can come where blood does not. It is possible that he can remove the poison, but actually can apply double poison next turn. If he tries to be tricky. He might have a Calstein. Yeah. Sorry, I got a bit carried away. Uh -huh. But we just apply double poison. That needs to die. And now we are kind of in trouble. We would need to play Vincent van Morleham on Roderick. Uh, that's a little weak. I don't think the Thirsty Dame is going to get value ever. We can play this for 7. Play this for 4. We can't quite get into the lead. If I pull that Masquerade Ball, I think it would be just uh, a problem. No matter... Well, let's just play the Thirsty Dame and plan to follow it with uh, Fion. He does have a lot of gold. 
Uh, we can target Savola's Frightener with uh, Vincent. And we have to play Matahari right now if we want the... Yeah. If we want the card. But actually it would be a kind of a tricky one. Because we get a poison. We play, we play a Thirsty Dame. If we play a uh, Masquerade Ball, yeah, I don't know. I, think, I guess it's still worth it. It just increases our chance of not losing this round. You will never forget. That we just have to do right now. Okay. We can replay Vincent as well to actually give us maximum value with the uh, with the masquerade ball. If I was him, I would be very tempted. To just push all in because you see uh, like a massive advantage here. If you push this advantage, uh, we're gonna play with Vincent. Wait, what? Wait, what? He removed the Doom tag from Savola's Frightener. What a fucking bastard. This is 8 points. Oh man, I didn't see that. I should have killed Savula's Frightened earlier because this guy is, uh, knows what's up. So we get 36 points, but we actually get a guy which is going to give us enough points. Because the Thirsty Dane triggers. Actually, both of the trigger. Uh, playing the Masquerade Ball was obviously a must-have. And we have the uh, replay ability for later. Obviously, it's not as good. We can double up on the Rot Duster, I guess. Isn't that like a better option here? Oh man, uh, prepare for some cows, mates. So we play Fion in the back. Let their blood break their bones and spirit. Actually, we could have started with a Thirsty Dame. Thirsty Dame gets marked for Bunty. I think we kind of fucked up. Thirsty Dame gets marked for Bunty. And then we play Fion. Although I, I gotta make sure that Thirsty Dame doesn't, doesn't die. Really? Yeah, he would have uh, just wasted the poison. But now it's going to die. Please don't kill it. We need that. Oh man. Play in the back. Either we replay that right now, to get rid of the bleed. Or we replay one of the Rot Tussers. I think we should replay one of the Rot Tussers. And it's gonna be like a cow. Cow Armageddon, I think. Let's just call it that. Oh, oh, nice. 
He bled the... What is this? Rot the sir. It triggers at the end of his turn. So... It's gonna be tricky. We have... How do we play this? Obviously I have to return the Rod Tusser. We have to play both of them. And either I play it in the front, and we get three points for it. If I play it in the back, you're just gonna put a guy here, and we only get one point. I need to hurry up. Or so we can guarantee a kill on the back, which is probably gonna be better. But that's a, like a very weird move. Got him, cows! Woo! Mara, watch out! You like poison? You little bitch, you gotta die! Fucking morale is dead. There's no escape morale. You think you're gonna be good? No way. Make sure morale is dead. This is the morale is dead play. Yeah, that's right. Woo! He's dead. Wait, did we get boosted twice? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Uh, sure. Uh, GG, mates. Uh, what a round. Oh, he's reborn too. Much respect. Double GG.